If we don't get this right, it has massive flow on effects to the rest of the project. Let's say we've got a drawing that's not quite to scale just yet. You can tell it's not to scale because when we look at this number here, it says 1000. But when we drag one of the dimension tails up towards the other one, we see that the tracker is showing it as 947, which means it's not to scale yet. This is very easy to fix. Let's zoom back on out. We'll select our entire drawing and then we'll zoom back on in. With all of our elements selected, we can go Control K and this dialog box here is going to show up. We we'll want to make sure that Define Graphically is turned on as well as the rest of these tick boxes and then we'll go OK. So from here, we'll want to select one of the tails of the dimension and then drag that line all the way up to the other tail and we'll click once. From here, we now have the option to resize the drawing so that it actually matches that 1000. So now if I tap tab just once, it's going to give me the chance in the tracker to type in the correct dimension. So we'll go 1000 and then to finish the operation, we'll go enter. And now if we hit escape to deselect, then select the top marker, drag it on down all the way to that bottom one. We'll now see that it mentions the correct dimension in the tracker as well as on the dimension. But we typically want to do this with at least two dimensions. We want to double check that this has actually scaled it across the entire drawing. So let's zoom back on out and we'll select one of the other dimensions. Let's go with this 9000 just here. We'll select its bottom tail and we'll bring it all the way up to this top tail just here. And we've got 9000. This is something that we typically do with every survey. When we get the DWG, which is all of the lines, we'll zoom in, find one of the boundaries and see if it's correct. If we don't get this right, it has massive flow on effects to the rest of the project. The pages that you see here are from an example ArchiCAD project file included in the Art Guide Fundamentals template, along with room modules, legends, and much more. If you'd like a chance to purchase the template, I'll put a link down just below. Now for more examples, in this video just over here, we redraw a building from the 1800s from scratch and then render it using twin motion. It's long format and covers every step. It's one that you don't want to miss. Go on, check it out.